Hello there folks and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now today is one of my quick fire Q&A sessions, one of the opportunities I make amongst my normal video content to fire in a quick answer to a comment or question that I have been posed by a viewer or subscriber. And today's question comes from Frank V, who quite simply asked me one sentence, do you own any fountain pens? The answer, pure and simply, yes, I do. I love using fountain pens for a number of reasons. First of all, I love the physical connection that a person gets when they use a pen to write something. Now, I'm a prolific reader and a prolific writer. I write professionally for my job, and I also write uh, in relation to my YouTube video content because I write notes in my notebook, and although I don't write scripts for the, 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 the material which I share with you, I do keep notes so I know what I'm going to say. And I choose to keep all of my notes in handwritten format. Whilst, of course, I do use a computer and a laptop on a daily basis, where I have the choice, I will always choose to make the connection with my written word through a fountain pen. I just think there's something about that mechanical element of writing with my hand onto a piece of paper. That handwriting is there in permanence. Of course, in reality, it's less permanent than something which is stored on a hard drive or in the cloud, but it feels as if it is everlasting because I have written it in my own hand. Handwriting, of course, is a reflection of the writer's character. And one might say you can see into somebody's inner soul if you look at their handwriting. If somebody's handwriting is spindly and chaotic, it tells you something about them. If their cursive handwriting is well presented and, and really attractive on the eye, it tells you something else. And I wouldn't say that my handwriting is great, it probably falls somewhere in between those two measures I have just suggested. But I think, uh, you know, writing with a fountain pen is so terribly fundamentally part of my character, I could never imagine not using a pen. For instance, when I write a note to somebody or a letter, um, it's an intensely personal communication, you know, between me and the person I'm writing to. Never more so than in this modern era, because virtually nobody write letters anymore or write notes. So if somebody I know uh, in my close circle of associates or friends, achieves a milestone in their lives. They have some success, maybe a promotion, maybe a big birthday. I make it a special point to write them a handwritten letter because when they look at it, when they open that letter, what they see is a part of me on the page, the handwritten word, because I've chosen everything about that communication. I've chosen the paper that it's written on. I've chosen the pen that I wrote it with. I'm even rather particular about the ink which I put inside my pens. Very personal, very intimate as far as I'm concerned. So when you read a letter or a note from me, you know that a lot of thought has gone into it. Now, my pens are not expensive in any way, shape or form. Um, I have a small collection of fountain pens, which I've brought just some with me here today. The majority of them are mass-produced pens. None of them are expensive at all. I think the most money I've ever spent on a pen is about 30 or 40 British pounds. Uh, and I go for the writing experience, not the quality or the heritage of the pen itself. I'm in that phase. I don't have money to splash on expensive Mont Blanc pens or anything like that. I wish I did. Uh, I have to make the pens that I do own work for me by making my handwriting experience pleasurable and enjoyable. The pens which I use the most, the one I was using when you joined me today, is nothing more uh, than a Lamy pen. It's the Lamy um, All-Star, an, an aluminium bodied pen with rather a simple stainless steel nib. German produced, as often I find many of the best things are, and it, but it performs for me. It just really writes rather well. I've got a few of those and I do keep my pens fueled up with different colored inks because as well as my fountain pens being quite important and personal to me, so is the ink. 
Um, I use um, inks from all different manufacturers. I will you know, buy them and use them in different pens for the different personalities and different appearances that they will give. If I'm writing a letter to somebody, I will choose an ink which is personal to me. One of my favorites is Diamide's uh, writer's blood. It's a sort of dark, uh, well, it looks like blood. It looks like dried blood. It's quite simply, but I love the ready tones, the rusty ready tone. And if you receive a letter from me, which is written in a sort of a, a red writer's blood appearance, you know that uh, you're one of my favoured um, correspondents because that is the colour I choose for intensely personal communication. Uh, other colours, you know, I favour um, blues of different colours, sapphire blue, um, I like various different, um, one of my favourite colours is a blue, called, a blue called petrol blue, which is um, an ink made by Mont Blanc. Whilst the pens are ferociously expensive, the inks are far more modest in price. And um, I often use petrol blue when I'm writing my notes uh, for our YouTube communication, for instance. So yeah, there we go. Handwriting in a fountain pen is an intensely personal thing for me. And whilst my fountain pen collection will no doubt, no doubt be a disappointment to people who splash a lot of cash on their writing hardware, truth is, I simply go for the enjoyment of writing itself. Hence my pens are things like the Lamy Safari, um, I've got a number of other pens here by Duke, other different pens, uh, the Safari, the All Star. Um, one of my favourite day-to-day pens is the Caveco Sport, little folding pen which is ideal for carrying in one's pocket, so if you've got your notebook with you, easy just to whip it out and make use of it as you go along. Nothing fancy, inexpensive, made of plastic, but does the job and gives me that mechanical connection between pen and ink and paper, which I seek to achieve in my day-to-day -day writing experiences. So there we go, Frank V. I hope that's answered your question. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, click the red button if you'd like to see more. If you'd like to support the channel, of course, you can buy us a coffee. You will find a link to our Buy Me A Coffee page in the show notes below. I hope you enjoy writing in whatever medium, with whatever pen you enjoy and find pleasure uh, as you go through your life. So until the next time, take care of yourselves and I will see you again very soon.